Hello and welcome to Horizon Overland. Today I'm going to show you a level 3 build on a 9th generation 2003 Yukon Excel that I've just completed for a client. This client wanted to uh, pick and choose some items from the level 3 as well as modify some components of the build to fit his personal preference and taste. If you want some more information on each build level, visit www.horizonoverland.com and click on the package levels and you'll be able to see all three level builds with all the items that they come with. For now, let's go ahead and get started on the tour. All right, folks, so here it is. This is a 2003 Yukon Excel, which is just like the Chevrolet Suburban ninth generation. And this one is actually in really good condition. Pretty much all factory except for the wheels. Uh, these wheels came out of a newer Yukon. But other than that, everything else is in stock form. We're doing the outside tour first. Uh, we're, the only thing we're going to cover on the outside is the roof basket, which is a 4 foot by 8 foot roof basket secured on the roof uh, rails, the crossbars and this roof basket can hold up to 150 pounds. So that's pretty much the outside. Let me go ahead and show you the inside now. Okay, so starting the tour with the uh, front uh, of this GMC Yukon and uh, the client wanted to upgrade his stereo. So we went ahead and uh, changed the stock stereo to this really cool touchscreen uh, doubled-in unit that has all the features you would expect from a modern stereo like GPS, auxiliary, Bluetooth, uh, and also being able to uh, pair your phone to this system and access all the uh, files on your phone. But not only did we install the stereo, we actually installed uh, the capabilities of uh, steering wheel controls. So you could see I'm adjusting the volume uh, just by pressing the, uh, the steering wheel control. So that's really cool to be able to integrate this aftermarket stereo with the stock uh, steering wheel controls on this GMC Yukon. So in addition to the stereo and the steering wheel controls, we uh, went ahead and installed a front camera and a backup camera, of course, per uh, customer request. Um, and if we went ahead and pressed the icon right here, we would access uh, the front camera footage. And if we go ahead and put it in reverse, then we have the uh, backup camera. So that's pretty much uh, the front. Let me go ahead and move to the back and show you the build. Okay, moving to the back. So this is the back area while the seats are up. So you could see this setup uh, is a five seater SUV, two in the front and three in the back. And back there we have the build, which is a two person camper build. Now we offer a curtain that separates the front area from the back camping area. What I'll do now is I will fold down the seats and set up the, uh, the platform as well as show you the uh, curtain that separates everything. So let's go ahead and get that done. It's very easy. Very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up the front uh, bottom part of the bench, just like that. And then I'm gonna move the curtain on top of it, just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and go on the other side and do the same thing. I can go from here actually. So lift this up, just like that. And then now I can close the curtain just like this, all the way. And I'm gonna back down and then hold down the seat flat, just like this. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. There's a small lever back here, so I'm, and then that goes like this. I'm gonna climb over and reach the platform extension and just have it rest on the seats. The last thing I did was unfold this uh, custom cut three inch foam mattress that has been resized for the uh, width of the platform. And then here you could see how nice and private this uh, area is. We have the rear insulation in the back. 
the uh, mesh sleeves on the windows and the front, uh, which are really nice because you can open the windows at night to keep uh, the bugs out and then also have some nice breeze come in. And then this is the uh, really nice uh, curtain that separates the driving area from the, uh, the back area, the camping area. Okay, so let's discuss the rest of the build. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about these sides, which are different from the uh, sides that I usually do. Uh, I usually have two levels of shelving on, on top of this flat surface area, but in this case, I do not. Per customer request, they wanted the area to be flat, uh, but they also wanted uh, storage capabilities. So what we did is we created uh, four hatches that open up and then you'll be able to you know store some stuff inside um, and then you can just go ahead and put this back on there and it gets secured very nicely it doesn't move it doesn't rattle I'm trying to move it um, and it's very nice and tight and then we have you know we have them on all four sides we have our DC outlets again this is a level 3 so it does come with electric capabilities so we have the uh, USB and then two USB ports and then a 12 volt and then on this side same thing uh, two USB as well and a 12 volt this is the battery reader there is an auxiliary battery under the hood which is connected to the main battery via a smart isolator. So that's how we're able to power these outlets in here. So here's the secondary battery. This is a 75 amp hour battery that is being connected through a smart isolator to the driving battery up here. Uh, and that is how we get our power. Uh, the engine charges both batteries and then this battery should last overnight to be able to uh, charge all the electricals as well as the fridge inside. But we also have this uh, solar panel kit that comes with its own, uh, you know, with its own wiring as well as the, uh, the uh, solar controller. So it's all in one kit and this is a 160 watt uh, unit and it will have alligator clips that you could clip on to the deep cycle battery in order to when the when the rig is parked and there's plenty of sun outside you can then switch to uh you know sustainable energy by plugging this solar kit to your deep cycle battery so here's the back area uh one thing you notice is that we do have the fridge on the left side but we do not have the kitchen uh on the right side and the reason why is the customer did not want to have a kitchen build uh, all they wanted from the level two uh, is the uh, side, uh, the side storage. We do have the uh, usual drawer uh, pullout. This is a platform pullout um, on soft closing slides. And right underneath that, we have storage for the two burner stove as well as the two by four folding table. And then on this side, we have a pullout drawer with a built in topper. We open that up and we can access the content of the drawer. Um, and when we close it, you could see very nice touch on those soft closing slides. The client did want the 12 volt fridge. So we got the 12 volt fridge. This is the 55 quart fridge and it could be plugged into this uh, DC outlet right here at the 12 volt. But we also have two USB charging ports as well. The finish on this build is uh, just gloss treatment the customer wanted to retain the color of the wood which uh, in my opinion actually turned out to be really really nice uh, but we did do two coats of gloss I don't know if you can tell the mirror finish uh, it's very nice very smooth and the gloss really is uh, very helpful to prevent light scratches on the build as well as uh, fluid spillage be able to clean it up very uh, effectively so that concludes the tour of this uh, 2003 Yukon Excel Level 3 build. Again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you'd like to learn more about each level build, go ahead and check out the website, www.horizonoverland.com. And also on the website, you will find a for sale section that every now and then I will be posting a rig that I bought, inspected, fixed, and also built into a Overland solar camper. So periodically, 
uh, check the website for any updates in the for sale section. Also, I want to let you guys know that I will be traveling for the next couple of months overseas for the holidays, so I will not be booking any builds this year. I will be available, however, to answer any of your questions by email at horizonoverland at gmail.com. So if you have any questions about the build packages or if you would like to book any builds, it will have to be early next year. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And until next time, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.